Ah, I mean, the music is crucial. I mean, so when you hear something like this, mm -hmm. it can do one of two things. Well, I'm starting to write down an answer. Yeah, exactly. Pens and paper. It really yeah, can. I'm, I'm, it I'm kind pretending of to calculate. Brings you out in a cold sweat or excites you. I love it. Talking about Channel 4's countdown, of course. Been on our screens for nearly 40 years, and it's taken until now to find a contestant as impressive as someone you're about to meet, 21 year old Tom Stevenson. Yes, yeah, so this week, if you didn't hear the story already, he scored a whopping 154 points, won 75 consecutive rounds, and solved the final conundrum in just three seconds. Three seconds? Yeah. Broke not just one, two show records. Take a look at him in action. Well done indeed, Tom. Well done. Good morning. Hello, thank you. Well, we're all kind of just getting used to your record breaking. I suppose you've known for a little while, but uh, what, a, what an extraordinary day. Yeah, um, I mean, that particular episode was filmed back uh, in August. And at the time, I was actually rather zen-like uh, about achieving the high score. But it only dawned on me until I, I arrived back home uh, the next day and thought, good grief, I can't believe I've just done that. Now, Tom, it's been an ambition of yours to be, not, be on Countdown since you were, what, 16? Why? Um, I don't know. I think it's just kind of like something that has appealed to me. I used to kind of enjoy doing the maths puzzles at school and I used to, um, you know, take part in the spelling tests uh, as well and uh, found that I was, you know, reasonably good at them. Um, so, yeah, I think it's something that has kind of chimed with me uh, and would say that uh, Countdown is one of those shows that is quite easy to play along with in the sense that the rules aren't too complicated. So, Tom, just give me a little insight into what goes on inside your head when you're playing your uh, remarkable countdown moment. Do you see things instantly? Because that three-second thing, do you, is, it, is it just like, there it is, and you know straight away? Um, with that conundrum, uh, what I did... Did you know you were about to break two of the show records? Um, well, I mean, I definitely knew that I was about to break the... Um, no rounds lost record because Colin kept on mentioning it all throughout <laughs> the, game, through the previous games. Um, so even if I hadn't realised that, then I knew that I was on it uh, because of Colin. And um, he was, he was but, delighted, wasn't he? He was very enthusiastic, yeah. He's great to be around and um, I think he was, in a sense, he was perhaps even more invested than what I was. I'd already achieved what I wanted to achieve and just go on and have a bit of fun. So to get those extra records is a, is a bonus. And I know Colin was really invested in me getting them. Tom, it's a little footnote to this. Uh, you, people might automatically think you're one of those people who, who just uh, is able to do exams, to do everything really well and it all comes very easily. That's just not the case with you, is it? No, uh, I was quite disappointed with my A-level results. Um, they weren't quite what I was expecting. Uh, I ended up with three Ds. And on the day, you know, sometimes your mind is elsewhere and uh, you just can't quite concentrate. Um, and I feel as though it's something that has never, well, exam situations have never been something that, uh, that I've gelled with particularly. Um, and, you know, after I received those results, I was quite downbeat and thought to myself, oh, this is the end of the world. What am I going to do? Uh, I can't get into uni and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, I, I did partially want to go on to Countdown to prove a point to myself that I shouldn't let the grades define my ability. What a great attitude. Uh, fantastic achievement. Tom, lovely to speak to you this morning. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, and well yeah. done, and inspirational as well, for all is. those who are watching. That's it from us.